this is something that drives me nuts, and I bet it drives you nuts too. When I go out to eat, I look around the restaurant and I see everybody on their phones. Yes. I've seen dates where like one of them is on a dating app. I look. Okay. <laughs> and the other night, I went to a Mexican restaurant, and the table right next to it was so distracting that it ruined our meal. A mother and a young child, and the mother was on the phone the entire time, and the kid had nothing. And the kid's looking at us like right. adopt me, right. like save me. Yes. This is what I've come to realize. This is the new latchkey kid. Oh, yeah. I, I was talking about this on my podcast that you're growing up with a kind of an absentee parent, yeah. you know, who's physically there, but mentally not there. Um, so a couple things. If, if you and I went out to dinner and we just sat down and you started pontificating and I just pulled out a book, right? I just <laughs> put it in front of my face and started, or the sports page yeah, and just yeah, yeah, fluffed yeah, it yeah. up in front yeah, of me yeah, and just yeah, started yeah. reading the box scores and yeah. stuff. You'd be pissed off, right. insulted, and rightfully so. Yes. What is the difference between hard hard copy, you know, hardbound copy of Moby Dick and me staring at my phone? Yeah, you got to do that. The next time somebody pulls out their phone, just pull out oh, Moby okay. Dick. Yeah, just, oh <laughs> People think they can multitask. Women think, I can read about what's going on with Cardi B and her ass <laughs> and listen to your story. Right. No, you can't. 